Hello and welcome back you awesome people! Before you is my very first build from scratch restaurant. It is huge as you can see. Let's start from looking at from the outside. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like thinking I wanted two floors uh, but I still didn't quite know what I wanted to do with it. So it was something I the the the, the whole structure I built late at night and then I was going to like color it and stuff and I was like no I'm way too tired to do this so I uh, turned it off figuring I was probably going to just throw it away the next morning but I continue with it I just changed the colors and went with something else and in the end I'm quite happy with it uh, so we have two sets of uh, eating outside you can eat up here I was thinking like because I have such gorgeous views around in the city of Windenburg and so I wanted I wanted uh, two sets of types of uh, filling the view so up here you get to see a lot more uh, of like the can the channel and stuff and the, the houses like down here it's a bit less of it it's a bit more stop it it's a bit more watching the buildings and but still hearing the water maybe something like that uh, so yeah that's the outside you have uh, about two no, four tables one really big one one uh, two smaller and yeah and all these heating lamps up here we have some couches underneath a, a roof and then a bit more outside here you can see yeah I'm actually quite fond of it uh, usually uh, a lot of the things from uh, other stuff packs so all of this is not uh, from just this game pack because then it would be a really boring restaurant uh, inside I wanted really the feeling of um, up in the on the roof like on the top floor because this is actually where most of the people come and sit don't know why but they are because uh, this was not this first that I built like this come uh, later on when I was uh, done with this first floor but here up here I wanted more of a a darker setting, lux luxurious, a lot of uh, aquariums because I, I, I just love aquariums, I don't know why, I just love it. Uh, with a bar, uh, giving you maybe more of a romantic setting, romantic fancy setting. So yeah, I, I did uh, more of that. A lot of art, uh, open windows, I didn't want to cover the windows because I know, because the view as I said is still a lot of the thing about this with the restaurant uh, so yeah I use this one they, for some reason I don't think they can actually get into this table because they always sit out here and no one sits here kind of boring because I feel like this is going to be like the really VIP table with the two aquariums just beside each person and then uh, uh, the lovely view uh, but yeah apparently they can't come and sit there quite sad then we have the bar, a huge bar with a lot of liquor and stuff and a couch for people to sit uh, a serving uh, station for the servers where they can drop uh, some uh, oh, thank you oh, uh, uh, where they can drop uh, some dishes off uh, so yeah, that's, that is basically what this is used for people drop their dishes off I don't think I actually showed you these kinds of stuff I think we actually need to <laughs> maybe I didn't show it in the last episode I've didn't get to show that you have this this is a thing you really need when you build your restaurant uh, we can actually do this here when you start to build your own restaurant you get a sort of a checklist of all the things you really need before you can actually uh, open your restaurant so you need this uh, now let's see now the host station, if a pure translation. This is where your host stands and uh, greets the guests and take uh, take them to their table. The, the guests come up, say they want a table, and the host uh, uh, takes them to that table. You have menus and a computer and a phone. Uh, so when the host doesn't have any people to deliver, they pretty much just stand there and answer phones. And then we have this uh, dish. Uh, the service station is for the service only. Um, I have only seen them drop off dishes here. I don't think they can do anything else with it. This is also a host station I'm in a more classic kind of way. While this is more modern, I guess. 
I think I did get to show you the rest of the stuff. Uh, I guess I couldn't in the other episode because I wasn't on a uh, wasn't on a restaurant uh, plot. I don't think I have anything else I missed to show you. No. Now back. So we have a service station here, and we also have one out here. Uh, and then we can go down. Uh, it's quite a long stair. I do pity the service because they always go up and down, up and down these kinds of stairs, and they're just really long and horrible. <laughs> anyway, down here, I was thinking more of a. I, I do like that they go upstairs to sit more because this is really the place where I, it's like it's full up there. You need to sit down here. Uh, more of a place you get to go sit here because maybe you're going out later, you're not planning on sitting here too long. So this is more of that place where you can be because it's uh, it's quite busy here. It's not that calm and uh, feeling of this place because I mean the servers and the hosts always go up and down the stairs and down here to get to the kitchen. Guests go up and down so it's uh, it's quite an active space here. So yeah, most people don't sit here, and when they do, they don't sit for long. And also, it's uh, out here you can sit. Not many have been sitting down here, sadly. Uh, but I think I have way too much space for people to sit. So they haven't used me time. <laughs> Another service station here. And then we have the kitchen. And the kitchen is huge. Did not think that... Uh, I thought I really needed all the space. Apparently I didn't. <laughs> uh, Basically, you just need one. You can have two cooks, I think maybe even three. I only had one so far and it worked. Uh, so she's been standing here. Uh, I think, because as you can see, I have both kind of station. I didn't know if I needed both or not, but I put them down. And I think the cook all automatically use this one if it's on the plot. I haven't tested it, but she always go to this one. She never uses this one. My my own sim uses this one when she needs to cook food. So yeah. Uh, but I have both here because I thought like, it would be cool, and maybe one day I will have actually two chefs, uh, two dishwashers, and then some decorations for that, and a couch for people to sit. Mostly it is my own sim using it. Uh, you have also this dishwasher. Uh, the one if you don't have like uh, the money to buy the other dishwasher you can use this instead uh, so the the server comes here and uh, washes the dishes I have no idea why I picked it here I was like this seems to go with the kitchen I'll put it here here I did have a table with um, chairs for the staff to use they never use that table and don't put it in the kitchen. Don't put any table somewhere with chairs that is not supposed to be for the customers. Because I had problems servers going to that table, placing the food there, and the sh and the, s the customer couldn't get to the food and they were pissed off. As well, I would be pissed off. Uh, so yeah, don't put any tables and share somewhere where they're not supposed to be any customer system so cuz that's just useless no one uses it anyway so i have a lot of uh decoration of fridges instead it'll make it look like a lot of store i have a little store here with just making it look like a store unit uh so yeah that's the kitchen and i have the entrance with a host station and another sh uh, sofa it's kind it's good to have a sofa because sometimes there is a lot of customer coming and they have to wait and it's nice to see them sitting down and waiting instead. And of course two bathrooms. Uh, I have two different kinds so there should be more than one sim using these. <laughs> Haven't seen it yet I think but they, they should be able to be more. Uh, be careful having couches and staff. Uh, they tend to go and sleep. Then you should go and wake them up and tell them that they're doing something wrong and they should never sleep again. <laughs> so watch out for that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's bathroom. That is my first uh, restaurant I built. Uh, I was happy with it. Got a bit annoyed. Where I felt that 
maybe the planning of the place wasn't the greatest, it's really huge, sometimes I get the customer that it, fe that it feels uh, like it's good to have this much space, but sometimes it just feels like meh. And the, the, the f I just feel so bad for all the servers having to go up and down, up and down this. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to my second restaurant that I actually finished a few days ago. Uh, it is the same sim that owned this one here. Also owned this one in Magnolia Place. Palace? Prom promenade? Oh, I don't know. Uh, this one. So I have the same sim owning two restaurants. This one is a tiny bit smaller, as you will see. Uh, come on, loading. Here you go. Uh, so, remove that. Uh, here it is. A lot more modern, a lot more, but a lot more smaller. A lot of details. Maybe a bit too much, but I was feeling otherwise it was just so plain and boring. <laughs> I needed all the details. So I have some trees. I have a, I use a lot of flowers from the flower pack, the garden pack, I mean, and also an outside service. So yeah, let's go inside. So uh, you walk in from here. Huge, lovely modern door. You go in here. Here you have the host station, and uh, I'm so sorry. I'm getting a cold, so it's annoying in the in the news. Uh, let's remove this. So yeah, uh, a lot more black and brown space here, um, but yeah, you have one. I have here. I only have one service station and one host station, and it's all here in the corner. A big entrance. I couldn't find the space to actually have a couch here, so I was like, well, it just have to do. A smaller, much smaller kitchen, only for one chef uh, with an open one, because I feel like I I really like the open open one. Two much smaller bathrooms for a male and a female. Ooh, I wonder how that works. Well, like, if you have a male... Now with the customization of the, 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 the Sims, creator Sims. If you notice, if you have, like, someone that looks like a male. But prefer female clothes and stands uh, while peeing. How, how does it... How do they choose the toilets? How does that work? Because we don't have a toilet that is for all... That is a lot of discussion stuff. Uh, but yeah, how, if you know, tell me. How, how does it work? <laughs> the first little dining space, uh, it's inside. Here we have a two, four and four. And another four in here. I wanted to have like this little exclusive sort of uh, table that is like the one you have to call and see if you have to like and book like weeks before it's, uh, you actually want to go there and eat because it's so exclusive, it's in its own sort of room, you feel more private in there uh, even though it's not closed door, but you do feel the privacy in there not the greatest view, I mean it's out into the street, but still it's a uh, it's nice, it's nice to have a more of a private room and out here we also have two set of four and another set of uh, two uh, just to sit outside, so yeah. As I said, a much smaller restaurant. I wanted to see how it would be like to have uh, have it a lot smaller, uh, and a lot of decoration outside. I mean, I think I went a bit nuts here. Uh, but yeah, that is basically how it is uh, with this. I was really happy when I ended this, and uh, so far it has been good. I just started this restaurant, so all the staff is at level 1, still learning, so I have to be here a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to moving this along. Uh, so yeah, I think I've been showing you everything you need to see. There are some uh, pre-built restaurants that you can set out in the world. Uh, so if you're not someone who likes to build restaurants, uh, you have that. There are probably tons of people who have already started building restaurants that you can also download from the gallery. If you don't know where the gallery is, you go up here, you see two pictures, you open. <laughs> Come on, thank you. And here you go. So you have a lot of, you can see how many that is actually here. You have a community uh, where it's like... Uh, yeah, showing you, and you have your own library, and you can also uh, ha upload your own stuff. As you can see, here is mine. 
all of my creations, uh, my catalog, all of my creations. Maybe one day I will probably build my another restaurant for you to be able to download. Because uh, I'm actually having real, real fun downloading and real, real fun uh, building my own set of restaurants in how I want them. So yeah. Don't know how I will do if I will record and uh, show you. Maybe one if I'm building a smaller one. Yes, if I'm not, if I'm building a really huge one, then maybe I will build it and take pictures on of it and put it on my blog instead. Because uh, uh, it takes hours to build uh, and I have to take breaks and all that stuff and it's so hard to do the recordings otherwise. Uh, so yeah. I think I'm done here. I have, I have shown you everything you need to know about the dine out that comes with the game pack. Uh, I would really like it if you wanted me to do a, like a small let's play where we... Uh, if, if you could tell me, if you want me to do a small let's play of just dine out where we create our own character and uh, build our own restaurant, a small restaurant, and watch it go from star 1 to star 5. Uh, it's not that hard. I'm really enjoying this pack, I have to tell you. Uh, I've had quite hard getting this sort of want to play The Sims uh, earlier. Uh, I don't know why. I, I had real fun building houses in it. Real, real fun. But as soon as it come to actually playing and having a sim and watch that, it's not the greatest. Now this expansion pack was really... I keep saying expansion pack and that is because I've watched another YouTuber say this, and an, this is an expansion of the expansion. Because if you realize, or if you know, is get to work, where you can uh, run your own store, this is basically the same uh, except that you're running your own restaurant. So it, it is an expansion of an expansion. This is a game pack, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm having real fun with this totally worth the money uh, so yeah if you don't know if you want it I'm telling you it's so worth it you're gonna have a lot of fun you can create your own menus you can decide whatever your staff are going to look like and yeah it's real fun so uh, I hope you liked watching all, all these free episodes with uh, d looking at what dine out is all about and uh, please leave a comment and a like you're awesome people as always and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.